how can I stop my neighbor from letting their dog use my yard as a bathroom? Well, I'm afraid I don't have very good answers for that. I don't think you really have a very a viable legal question, and there's not always a, a, uh, a legal answer to a problem. Uh, I guess that uh, technically uh, the dog or the, na the neighbor allowing the dog to come onto your property uh, could be considered trespass, but that's going to be tough to, you know, to, you don't want to go to court over uh, a trespass case as far as the dog's concerned, and then also them not uh, being a good neighbor and policing up after the dog, which I probably you wouldn't mind so much as long as they policed after policed up after the dog, but it falls in those, one of those categories where uh, it's just you know, not very considerate, uh, I guess bad manners or whatever, and uh, so you just might suggest if you see the neighbor just ask them if you please police up after your dog. Of course you may not see it, you just see the results of their, the latest walk rather than, than see them right in the actual act or not. So uh, there really isn't a, a good legal answer to that and just something that you know people should should be more considerate of their neighbors and, and uh, police up after their dogs as far as that's concerned. Uh, I always try and whenever we have a problem such as this is talk about practical uh, practical solutions to it. I don't know if you could put up a small picket fence or, or something, a decorative picket fence in the front, uh, I don't know if you have a sidewalk or whatever to keep the, you know, just a decorative small fence and hopefully the, the neighbor wouldn't have the dog jump a small one foot decorative fence or whatever uh, as far as that's concerned. So uh, I really don't have a legal solution to that. Uh, I'm, uh, I don't, uh, unfortunately, I, I don't think we have a, a wise enough man since King Solomon to come up with a the answer to that problem uh, on a solution, uh, but I guess uh, the only thing I could suggest is if you see them out there, suggest they don't do it, which is very difficult, or maybe put up some kind of little decorative fence just to, as a practical matter, make it a little more inconvenient so that the dog would not be as so inclined to use your property, but he moves next door and uses your neighbor's property for the uh, for, for whatever uh, uses he needs to take or whatever urges come upon him during his neighbor's walk. Of course, if they're not even walking them and they're just running wild, well, I guess you can call animal control to, uh, to say that they've got an unleashed dog, but again, the, that's not real practical since animal control, when, by the time they get out there, the dog's gone and there's not a lot you can do about it. So I don't know that, I'm willing to talk to you, but I don't have any answers, but you can call and talk to me about the, the neighbor's dog at 727-847-2288.